Welcome back to Travel Show Live. In case you're joining us for the first time, today we are at Gaylord National. If you don't know where that is, well, it's right on the bank of the Potomac River. It is gorgeous, just outside Washington, D.C. Just after Thanksgiving here on the, oh, oh my gosh, it's like the 29th of November. We, we made it through Black Friday. Harry, did you get all your shopping done on Friday? Okay, very good. And uh, we did a little cheese discussion earlier, and I thought, well, this will be perfect because now we can talk wine. That's why we have an expert here. This is Robert Stanfield. Hello, sir. Welcome to the program. Very nice to see you again. All is well here. Everything is great. And right, I like we have some wine in front of us. So you know, this is uh, a good thing. This is the perfect time of year to talk wine. Uh, Absolutely. Because, you know, we're going to holiday parties. We're going out a little bit. We're spending a little bit of that. Lots of celebrations. Yeah, so I thought, you know what? We need to do a little wine discussion. Absolutely. Sometimes when you get into a place, now this is one of the best restaurants on property. It's called Old Hickory Steakhouse, right? Yes, it is. Get that right. And people come in and they look at a wine list and they might get a little intimidated. It, absolutely. Just a little it ha bit. It happens sometimes. <laughs> so how do we avoid that? Well, we, we do a couple of things here that make it a little bit easier for people that don't feel completely comfortable with wine. Mm -hmm. We have some fun titles to every section of our menu. So Bubbly Beginnings, hopefully <laughs> self-explanatory. We, yeah. we have some great sparkling wine and champagne there from California to the classics, Don Perignon and Veuve Clicquot. Got it. Um, we have Light and Aromatic for people looking for that. We have pepper and spice, all the Pinot Noirs fall in that section. Mm -hmm. The bold and the beautiful, all the classics, so Bordeaux's and the Burgundian wines fall in that section. Nice. Um, and then the dessert wines, self-explanatory. We have a great section called the Big Boys. We have a lot of large parties in here, so we have the 1.5 liter wines, the mm -hmm. three liter wines for people that are in the celebratory mood. Got it. So, you know, we're, we're in with a party of six, maybe it's a couple of couples, and, and our job, we've taken it upon ourselves to open up this now not every a wine menu is going to have those lovely titles. How do we navigate through a, a, a standard wine menu? Is, does it have to do a lot with personal taste? Budget, what are the factors we're dealing with? Uh, budget is, is sometimes uh, things that people are looking at, uh, but it's all about personal taste these days. Yes, yeah. we're a steakhouse, and people usually uh, associate the steak with the classic Cabernet, the Napa Cabernet. Sure. Um, these days, a lot of uh, people are just drinking what they like. If you want a white wine with a steak, we embrace that. Why not? Um, we just tell people to go with what they like to drink. Mm -hmm. And that has a lot to do, not necessarily just with, with taste, uh, but has, I'm sorry, not to do with color, but with taste. Because it could go either way, red or white. Absolutely. Now, here traditionally, again, we're selling um, a lot of the Bordeaux's and we're selling a lot of the Napa Cabernets because it does go well with the big steaks that we sell here. Mm -hmm. But again, if we see people leaning a different way or we see people uh, uh, that they're looking for a, a certain price point, we point them in that direction and help them get there. Well, and that's a good point, too, because if there is somebody on the staff, uh, if there is an expert, you know, heaven forbid they actually have a sommelier or not. It's okay to ask your, your server to say, hey, do you have somebody who is, is a wine expert? And it may be your server, right? A absolutely. Uh, we really encourage that interaction. Really, our service staff here, um, they like to help. Um, mm -hmm. They like to read their customers. And if they see if they, they want to ask some questions, they really take a proactive approach in asking our customers, what are they looking for to help them out? So, so it isn't an intimidating part of the experience. We we'll want people to relax. We want it to be a three-hour dining experience in here. So mm -hmm. we wanted to start off on a positive note and, and start that uh, conversation with our customers. So we open this wine. It's our job to taste the wine. How are we going to know if the wine's bad? I don't think I've ever opened a bottle of bad wine before. Really, I don't. I don't. I mean, maybe I have, and I drank it. <laughs> well, but whatever. Well, that's a good thing. You might you might have drank it. And, uh, um, it, um, it depends on on people's taste. For one, sometimes um, they're not used to a specific type of grape or a specific type of wine, so mm -hmm. it might be something that they're unfamiliar with. Sometimes wines do go bad. Um, they call it corked and. Mm -hmm. uh, and it um, happens, but it doesn't happen that often, it, does it? it? It happens a little bit, more than people maybe recognize. But, um, you know, the simplest thing to pick up are the vinegar flavors and mm -hmm. the vinegar aromas. So if you, if you see something like that, the wine very well might be poor at that point. Okay, moment. very good. If, if, again, very simply, when we're dealing with a, with a white, what can we look for in terms of a go-to bottle? If we don't know what to order, what are, what are a couple of different types of grapes? Um, the, if people start their wine education usually in a, from, you know, from the sweet wines, and then they, they graduate, let's say, to the, to the fuller body wine. So when people are starting off, we, we usually uh, send them around the lighter whites. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc is a great wine. Mm -hmm. People are drinking a lot of Riesling, Gewürz demeanors now. Mm -hmm. So people are going with the sweeter wines now. It's a great place to start your wine education is on the light, fruity white wines. Okay, so look for those on the menu. Then how about reds? Uh, on the reds, again, we're a steakhouse. Uh, Cabernet is king um, in the steakhouse scenes, mm -hmm. and uh, we're no different here. So, mm -hmm. And typically the California Cabernets. 
California. Got it. What did you bring out? We'll take a look real quick before well, we go. Uh, on the whites, uh, one of the classical Chardonnays, cake bread Chardonnay, which has uh, been popular for some time. This is an 08 vintage. Um, a lot of oak, but um, has got this this particular vintage is on the sweeter side for mm -hmm. a classical Chardonnay. Okay. And then the two reds that I brought out, one is a Bonterra Syrah um, on the lighter side of the reds. Uh, we like this one. It's made with organic grapes and um, um, we tend to support everything that's sustainable and everything's organic, everything in the slow food movement. Mm -hmm. And also uh, a friend of ours to the restaurant, Michael Honig, makes this uh, Honig Cabernet. Um, and um, also it's grown as, in a sustainable fashion. It's a great pair for the steaks. Well, I think we should try that one then Absolutely. on our way out. Absolutely. I love it. This has been perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to this do. This is a great way to start or end the day. I think so. I think it's, a, it's unfortunate everybody can't join us, but uh, they'll just have to come here and, and drink it for themselves. Look at the pour. Look at the expert pour. I love it. Thank you, sir. Now, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to look at it, right? We are. All right. What are we looking for? We look for the uh, the color. Okay. Um, is one of the things that we look at. Mine's um, purple. It, it is. Uh, it is purple. Okay. And uh, you can look at the viscosity. You can look at the legs that come down. Okay. It tells you a little bit about the alcohol content in the wine. And the most important part is you have to taste it. Well, sure. Cheers. Thank you, sir. We'll be right back here on Travel Show Live.